Hello, everyone. Welcome to this session. My name is Ping Fu. I am head of technology services, science and the data management library at Central Washington University. My presentation title is uh, Developing a Research Data Management Service Program in a Regional Comprehensive University Needs Assessment. The purpose of this presentation is to seek feedback from uh, our peer institutions and experts like you to help us better plan our next step so we can move forward. So here is the agenda. First of all, I will briefly introduce our project background, then describe the method we used for this project. Then I will present our results and the findings. Then I will compare our results and the findings with some existing studies. Also based on the result and the findings, discussions, I will talk about our recommendations. The project background, the project was kicked off in May 2020 when our dean decided to launch a uh, RDS program here. Then I was assigned to conduct preliminary research. So basically, I investigated some peer institutions' websites and their RDS program. Also, I did some literature research. Then I wrote a white paper. So in the white paper, I um, presented some key findings and observations from our uh, peer institutions. Also listed uh, what resources and the tools we have now, and what resources and the tools we should purchase or subscribe. Also, what kind of ideas model we should provide and uh, made a uh, initial recommendations based on the uh, findings and uh, advice from our team. So the method, the method used for this needs assessment is a survey questionnaire. So we designed a Quartrix uh, survey. We had uh, set, uh, 18 questions. Then we set out our uh, surveys through the provost office, and we, we set one month's time frame, then collected the data from our uh, responses. Then we analyzed our data, and uh, then we had uh, some interesting findings. So here is a list of 18 questions we designed for this survey. We have some basic questions such as uh, your research field, status, age, and about the grant regarding data management plan, uh, data privacy, uh, also what areas uh, do you expect to receive from uh, the libraries, and if the library is provided, the RDS would you use it? Also, some uh, specific questions regarding resources, tools, and the services, uh, digital storage needs, and the backup plan, data back backup plan. So we designed those questions. Uh, um, tried to understand the, the needs here. And are the needs here the same as or different from uh, those of researchers in a research intensive university? We also want to know 
is it necessary or worthy for us to develop a RDS program here? If necessary and worthy, how will the library implement the RDS program with limited budget and resources? The results. We received 69 valid responses. Among 69 valid responses, 67 were from our faculty members, two from our research staff. It accounted for 10.45% of a total 641 faculty members, uh, both uh, having full-time and uh, part-time status in academic year 2021. So we think it's a realistic and acceptable response rate. We found about 26% of our researchers said that their research funding were from grants. However, only 70% of our researchers said they had to submit a DMP uh, when they submitted their funding applications. Also, about 57% uh, of our researchers confirmed they received assistance on campus. However, only 10% confirmed they received the help from the libraries. Regarding data privacy, about 72% of our researchers said they had no concerns for their data privacy. However, about 28% of our researchers said they did have data privacy concerns, such as being anonymous, people's identities, and uh, uh, had to get approval from uh, the data vendor if they purchased the data set from a vendor. As a result, so from the survey, we found unfortunately only 36% of our researchers would like the university libraries to provide RDS. However, Regarding the question, if the libraries offer the RDS, would you use it? The positive response rate increased to 61%. And then regarding what top RDS areas we should focus on, the top one answer was finding resources to inform and enhance their research projects uh, for example, help find uh, grant information, help find uh, funding agencies' requirements, help find uh, uh, publishers' requirements and the res uh, related works for their research projects. The top two answer was uh, finding existing data, and the top three answers were assistance in conducting quantitative data analysis, assistance in helping data visualization and finding an appropriate repository for data archives. Regarding data format, top six formats were tabular or spreadsheet, texture data, images, audios, videos, and geospatial data. Findings. We had some interesting findings. We found that data deposit service is not a most needed service here. Also, DMP is not a most needed service here either. We found the CW researchers received more help from other university units rather than from the libraries. However, a majority of researchers said yes, they would use it if the libraries to provide RDS. Also, we found that helping find the resources is the most needed service here, and the help find the data set is the second most needed service here. 
definitely we should be aware of uh, data privacy issue discussions. So we compared our results with uh, some existing studies from the literature. For example, we compared uh, uh, with the Young study in 2017 and the Murray et al. study in 2019. Uh, both of them indicated uh, data deposit service was the most needed service or second most needed service at libraries. Also, DMP service was the uh, high priority service at libraries. However, both of them are not the case here. Also, Moret all pointed out uh, research offering research data instruction was the most offered service. Uh, however, from our survey, it seems it's not the case here. But maybe in the future, uh, our researchers will realize offering research data instruction uh, may be very important for them. So the survey results helped us uh, better understand the needs here. So we decided to consolidate our current resources, explore other resources and the tools, develop a list of most needed services and promote them to uh, our CWU research community. Also, we are convinced that providing RDS at the libraries is welcomed by our researchers. So we are in the right direction and should move forward. However, uh, our libraries and the supporting staff should develop the knowledge and the skills in this area. So the libraries should provide more opportunities for our librarians and the staff to receive training and uh, other uh, professional development opportunities. We also want to point out the limitation of the project uh, because we just examined an individual case. So the findings here probably would not represent a pattern for all other regional comprehensive universities. However, the survey questionnaire and our three-year implementation plan could be adopted by other regional comprehensive universities. So recommendations. So based on the survey results and the feedback from our faculty members and our administrators inspired by our dean, we proposed a three-year implementation plan. A three-year implementation plan, as I said, uh, actually our dean initially proposed uh, this idea. So we, based on this idea and the, the results uh, from the survey, also feedback from our faculty members, uh, also uh, some findings from my uh, initial white paper, so we developed this uh, three-year uh, implementation plan. For year one, we should form a working group, create an RDS model, and provide a centralized information platform for our researchers and students. Uh, based on our current uh, uh, staffing situation, we think we need to create a library faculty position on data services. We already got approval from our provost for this position. Also, we actually we already posted our position on the ARA job list and other job listings. So now we are going to recruit one new library on this area. We also should create a consultation model to provide the basic data services uh, such as reference services uh, and uh, 
Also, we select one or two academic departments as our data service partners and build a partner relationship with them. For year two, we should consider maturing the RDS model and then uh, complete the uh, library position recruitment, uh, extend the RDS services to the College of the Sciences, concentrate on providing help finding resources and the data sets for researchers and they create more research guides, uh, for example, on um, data uh, management plan, research data management, and uh, fund the requirements, develop uh, some classes and the drop in workshops on data services, and they consider collaborating with other university units uh, to apply for a grant so we can enhance our RDS model. For year three, we will uh, scale up our RDS model to all researchers to the uh, four colleges on campus and provide a full range of services. So almost time done with my presentation. Uh, at the end of this presentation, I would uh, take this opportunity to thank our CWU faculty members, staff, and the graduate students who participated in the survey and provided their inputs, insights, and the feedback. Uh, we also want to thank uh, Ms. Rebecca Lubas. Uh, who is the Dean of the Libraries for her support for this project and her vision for developing an RDS program at the CWU. I also would like to thank uh, Associate Professor Elizabeth Brown, who is the Library Faculty Chair for her support for this project and the inputs for the white paper and the survey questionnaire. We also would like to thank our scholarly communication library, Mara Valentino, for designing the Quatrix survey, collected the data, and analyzed the data. Without their support and the participation, we would not have completed the project. Here is some references we used for this uh, project. Finally, welcome to send your comments, questions, and feedback to me. My email address is ping.fu at cw.edu. Your feedback is very important for us. We hope we can better plan our next step and move forward. Thank you all. Thanks for your time.